How to make a ginger oxymel. Today we're going to make a ginger oxymel. Ginger is my go-to herb for nausea due to sinus drainage or motion sickness. Ginger is comparable to Dramamine for motion sickness but will not make you dry drowsy. It is a stimulating herb that will thin congestion. Ginger is a spicy herb and may not be appropriate for everyone. Crystallized ginger is my favorite form of ginger, but I really do not like eating that much sugar and there is no way to make crystallized ginger from honey. A ginger oxymel is my next favorite way to take ginger. Oxymels are basically your herb of choice, vinegar, and honey. You get all the benefits of the vinegar and the honey in your herb of choice. But if you're a fan of honey and vinegar, and you want a non-alcohol herb remedy, you will love oxymels. Okay, now you're going to fill any size jar half full if you're using fresh grated ginger or one-third full if you're using dry powdered ginger. Then you're going to fill your jar two-thirds full with apple cider vinegar. Now the amounts are not critical, so I just kind of figure that's two-thirds full. Now, if you're using the fresh grated ginger, you might want to add the tablespoon of lemon juice to it to maintain the acidity of the vinegar. Uh, when you're using herbs with a lot of juice, like the uh, ginger has, or herbs that have a lot of moisture, you want to maintain the acidity of the, of the uh, vinegar. So I'm going to add that now. Now, of course, I've got a quart jar, so I'm using a tablespoon. If you've had a smaller jar, you might use a teaspoon of, the, of lemon juice. And then I'm going to fill it rest of the way. I might need a tad bit more vinegar to make it two-thirds. Then I'm going to fill it rest of the way with honey. So you've got a ratio of two-thirds vinegar to one-third honey. You cap it. And then I'm going to mark it with my painter's tape and marker and put today's, the month, today's date, and the year. And then I'm going to shake it twice a day for two weeks to six weeks. Some herbalists say two, some say six. I think the vinegar gets a little more mellow the longer you, you let it wait. And then you're just gonna strain it and pour it into a bottle or jar. Some uh, oxymel that I made up earlier with, with the dried powdered herbs. So I'm re ready to strain that. Of course, I could just put it in another jar or I've got this dark colored bottle. And you see I've marked it ginger oxymel. I've put in today's, the month, and the year so I'll know how, how long I've had it. And now I've got a delicious ginger oxymel. Now when you use a powder, you always have some that's gonna stay on the bottom because it just does not filter very well. Oxymels will keep for many months uh, or they'll keep a little longer if they're kept in the refrigerator. You take by the spoonful or add to hot water to drink as a tea, or you can even put it in cold water and drink it. Uh, you can use it as a base for marinated dressings. You can add it to your favorite smoothie. You can find this recipe in my book, Healing Remedies with Honey and Propolis. Y'all come back. And you can find my book with lots of remedies using honey and propolis on Amazon. It's on the hard print or get it on candle. I will leave a link in the description or you can scan the QR code. And you might be an herbalist if you just love honey and vinegar. Like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any of these do-it-yourself home remedies.